Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So the left is pretty upset right now. They haven't been able to get their core things through. You know, the Supreme Court's been siding with freedom, it's been siding with the Constitution, and they don't like that very much. They haven't been able to get their so-called, you know, assault weapons ban through. They haven't been able to get their mag bans through. None of the, the core things that they really want. So what are they going to do? Well, they're going to start looking for other avenues to try and screw everybody over. One of the ways now that they're trying to do that is through a new bill that was just introduced into Congress that uh, would report you if you end up buying more than one. It's pretty incredible, actually. Let's talk about it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. Have you ever wanted to learn more about gunsmithing, firearms repair, or shooting sports management? Enroll in one of SDI's online programs or courses to take your hobby to the next level. Payment plans and funding options are available, so visit the link below or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So there's a new bill that was just introduced into Congress. It's H.R. 4202. And this bill would essentially treat you as a criminal that would need to be reported if you get more than one thing in a five-day period. So if you go to the shop, you pick up one thing one day, you go in, let's say, four or five days, and you get something else, they want the FFL to report you for that, for doing something completely lawful. Now, this bill is so new that there's no text yet, but we could tell just from the title, which is kind of a lengthy title, what this intends to do. So let me go and read it to you. Okay, so it says here, H.R. 4202, to amend Title 18 United States Code to expand to all firearms the requirement that federal firearms licensees report sales of two or more handguns to the same unlicensed person within five consecutive business days. Now, the first thing I want to say is we have a constitutional right to do this. It's protected by the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment does not say that we have a right to keep and bear arms as long as it's less than one per week. No, there's no cap. There's no, there's no limitation. It is what it is, right? So we are allowed to do this. This isn't something that makes us somehow seem like we're bad people. And also, you, it's none of your damn business anyway. They don't have a need to report us to some federal agency or, or send our names to the Senate for review or something like that just because we're practicing a constitutionally protected right. That, that's not the way that things work. And number two, they're clearly, clearly going after the law-abiding citizen here. Now, in the past, they've, you know, every law they've made has gone after the law-abiding because criminals just don't care, but they try and hide that fact. This time, it's right there out in the open. Why? Because it's targeting the person that's going to a licensed FFL. It's not targeting the guy that's going down to Fifth Street to get something out of the back of a trunk. It's not going to affect him whatsoever. But if you go into a licensed FFL and you go through your background check, and you fill out your 4473 and you do everything the way that they want you to, even though I think that's unconstitutional as well. But if you go through that process, you're the one that's going to be targeted. Again, the guy that goes around all that, he's, he's not going to see any effect by this at all. So again, this just only directly affects law abiding people who are doing things the way that the government wants us to do. Now, because this is one of those middle of the road, you know, middle ground type of gun control policies that they're trying to pass here, uh, it's easier to get support from the people who are kind of weak or on the fence from the right. So they might be able to garner a little bit more support from this one. So even though it's a bill in the House, uh, we're not 100% sure, or I'm not 100% sure, whether or not they'd be able to get enough support for it to pass through to the Senate. We know that if it made it to the Senate, more than likely it would pass, and we know that the president would sign something like this. So this is definitely one to watch, and I think that it, it involves our privacy, it involves our rights, and there is definitely a lot wrong with this bill. While it seems like a pretty straightforward bill, we're just going to, you know, report anybody who gets more than one in a five-day period, uh, I, I think that there is a lot going on here and a lot behind the scenes uh, that's basically going to really put anybody who buys anything at volume on a registry. I think that's what it's eventually going to do, and I think that's its main purpose as well. So I wanted to let you guys know about uh, uh, Bill 4202, let you guys know that it's out there, and then when I get the text of it, I'll do my research, read the text, go through everything, and then I'll bring it back to you guys to let you know the exact specifics, who the names would be going to, and really kind of what they're trying to do with this one. So again, I'll bring you guys the update once the text gets entered. Uh, this bill was just introduced, and they don't enter the text all that fast. So again, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.